Hello, um, these videos are going to be on uh, vertical curves. Um, there's probably going to be a few of them because these get kind of confusing, but uh, when I show you how to do it with the Easy Kogo program, they'll be um, pretty easy. Um, but I'm going to show you from the formula set and kind of the long way to do one, just so you understand, um, because they can ask you anything about a vertical curve. Um, and uh, then we'll do one with the programs. So here's a... Uh, Here's your formula set in your FS handbook, what they'll give you on the test. Um, you can see you kind of, uh, you can do your, um, you can do these by the formula set or you can use your program however you'd like to do it. So um, you can see they have the minimum maximum elevation on the curve. So of course your, um, your max would be for the crest and then the minimum would be the sag. And then the rate of tra uh, change, uh, Tangent elevations, curve elevation, basically how you get everything based on a on a formula. And um, so, just learn your formulas, and and um, and then we'll do. Uh, I'll I'll show you longhand how to do one, and then I'll do one with the calculator. It's probably going to be a couple videos. So, um, so here is. Um, so if you were given a vertical curve. Um, and they um they give you the uh, a negative 5.6 grade uh and a positive 3.8 you would be going down negative 5.6 and up 3.8 so this would be a sag curve so when i usually draw these and i start out with these um is i usually draw this little triangle right here because this is a symmetrical vertical curve and um the thing to kind of know is they do have an unsymmetrical vertical curve, but they take probably 20 minutes to, to work out. So um, I wouldn't bet that they would be on the test um, just because they take so long to do. So I would just stick to learning your symmetrical vertical curve. And all the symmetrical means is, is let's say this is 400 feet. It's 200 feet this way and 200 feet this way. And your stations will, will, will be the same. It'll, they'll be even. Uh, 200 feet across and 200 feet or however big the vertical curves are and we'll go through a couple different ones so you can see the different ones so um so this one they're asking this this is gonna they're gonna stake every 50 feet here and so they give you um another good thing is to learn your pvc the pvis and uh the end of the vertical curves they have a couple different names for them and the, they're um some of that reference is on your is on your uh, on your handbook here too. So um, just make sure you know the different names because they could ask you um, they could ask you different names about them. So I kind of wrote down what the the two would be um, that they kind of like to use. Um, so all that so when I say it's symmetrical, like I said, it's 200 feet this way. So Right here, the, the worksheet is to, to find the elevation of point A and B. So I would draw this triangle here, and then I would draw, here's my curve that they want us to stake in the, in the field. So it's a vertical curve. So just imagine if you're, you know, driving downhill and back uphill. That's, that's kind of what the vertical curve is. But this is just how we're going to calculate it here. So when I say we go negative down, or 5.6%, and I'm going to go up 3.8%, but we need to... Uh, uh, calculate the elevations first from kind of what we have. So we had the only one we were given in this problem was uh, was this station here, 9.5, uh, 9.50, and then the elevation of 519.34. Um, so to calculate this, we need to go 200 feet back. Is so this would be 950. This would be 850, this would be 750, and they wanted uh, 50 foot stakes in between. So you can you go 950, you go 10, 1050, 11, and there's your stations for this vertical curve. Um, so to start with these elevations is, um, these are, it's basically a simple rise and run. Um, the vertical curves are, to me are easier than um, the horizontal curves, um, just because it's a rise and run. So every 100 feet, you know, if you start at the bottom here, every 100 feet is going to go up 5.6 feet. So your elevation will do that. So you can quickly do the math or you can just add it back and forth. 
um, however you want to do it. Same thing on this side, every 100 feet, so just divide 3.8 by 2, and that's how much your elevation is going to go up to 50 foot. So, um, so from 51934, it's going to go up 523 until you get to, to each station here. Now you have these full stations um, here, and all when it's symmetrical, all you're going to do is take these two elevations, 530.54, and 525.94 and divide them by 2 to get the mean here. And um, this is going to be your, um, or add them together and divide them by 2. And this is going to be 528.74. And then you're going to do the same thing here. You can go 528.74, um, add these together, 519.34, divide them by 2. It's going to give you this elevation, 524.04. You're going to do that on every symmetrical vertical curve, you know, whatever, to get your elevations here. Um, and you can see how we did the stations. So now you got your stations and you got your elevations. And that'll fill in the elevation at point A, elevation at point B. And when you get this 4.7, this one's a, this number is very important to get. So um, this will be even when you divide these by two. This is going to be your max offset for your tangent. Um, so when you're doing your tangents, it's going to help us calculate the rest of each tangent off of that so um, these will be even just just because we you'll know your distance to um, how you do it your elevation too so um, and so um, so when you do your your uh, your uh, if you were doing this by math you're going to take uh, each you're you're breaking it down in uh, fractions right so you can go 1 over 4, and you're going to square it, and then uh, multiply it by your tangent offset, and that'll equal 0.29. Uh, and then the same thing uh, for each one. And so this one's, since it's symmetrical, this one will be 0 0.29, 0 0.29. And, of course, the next one, you go 2, 4, um, square, and then multiply 4.7. This will give you 1.8, 1.8, 2.64. And so you can see it's, it's and th these tangent offsets are going to be the, the so it, these tangent are going to be is going to help you calculate the distance from your um, station elevation to your curve elevation. So if you see after you calculate each elevation here, you're going to add five twenty seven point seventy four or sorry five twenty seven point seventy four plus zero point two nine, and that's going to give you um, that's going to give you the elevation. Um, 520 sorry that's on the other side. 524 no that's right 528.03 so um, 527.74 plus 0 0.29 528.03 um, and so you're going to do that on each one I'm going to show you how to do this kind of with the calculator too um, I'm just kind of going through this pretty quick I just want to show you the kind of the long way so you understand um, uh, make sure that you understand how to get each elevation point the midpoint so when you do the midpoint here, this curve, whether it's a, a, a crest or it's going to be a sag, it's always going to hit the middle of this distance right here on a symmetrical vertical curve. Um, so and then you're just going to kind of continue all the way through. You're going to add this back. So you're going to have this elevation is actually going to be on. So I like to write this. I like to write on the curve. And this is the station elevation. So this is your station elevations. And this is uh, on the curve. And so when I do some of the other problems, I'm going to use those uh, terms. And they call it grade elevation, curve elevation. That's kind of, um, make sure you know all the terms because they could use anything in, in, in these problems. So um, I like to say on the curve because this is the elevation on the curve. And all you're doing is taking, after you calculate the station, again, you add, add your tangent offsets here, here. And it's going to give you the elevation because this is a, Again, this is a sag, so to get to the dirt, it's you're going to go up. If it was a crest, you would subtract them to get down. And we'll do some of those uh, problems. I just kind of want to go through that pretty quick with you. Thanks.